Hi friend, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rosalind. If you like what you see with these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. Um, now for today's Bible study, we're in the book of Ecclesiastic 12 verse 13. Um, again, if you're new here, I usually use the soap method to do um, my Bible study. Um, it's not regular soap. <laughs> It's just an easy way, an easy method to study the Bible. The S is for scripture. The O is for observation. The A is for application. And the P is for prayer. Now, today's scripture, like I said, is in the book of Ecclesiastic, 12 verse 13. It said, The end of the matter, all has been heard. Fear God and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. That is so strong, y'all. That is so powerful. You see, too often we sit around searching for what am I supposed to be doing? Like, what should I be doing right now? How should my life look like? The book of Ecclesiastic is pretty much opening our eyes to seeing that everything underneath the sun is vanity. Like, everything under the sun that we work so hard for, eventually we're going to die and somebody else will come take over. And we don't even know if they will uh, carry on our legacy where or they will just damage it. So that's why it's saying here, after said and done, what we should be doing as believer, what we should be doing as God creation is to obey his commandment. That is our duty as mankind. In the book of Proverbs 9, 10 say, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So, um... Not fearing God in the sense of God is just so terrifying. I don't want anything to do with him. No, the fear of the Lord for believer is surrendering to our creator and acknowledging that he can't be shaken. He is holy and he is a consuming fire. For example, let's see Abraham. Abraham was a righteous man. Abraham was found righteous in the sight of God. What did Abraham do? Abraham feared God. Abraham obeyed God's commandment. Abraham, Abraham surrendered all to God. And he allowed the Lord to lead him wherever, wherever God wanted him to go. Abraham left everything and went. He was living for God. He was His life was um, to glorify God. His life were to... Um, honor God. That's how our life's supposed to be today. In this generation, we're to live to obey God. We're to live to honor God because at the end of the day, everything that we're struggling for, everything that we're working hard for is meaningless if we don't have God in it. It's meaningless, it's meaningless if God is not leading us and orchestrating our life. So my brothers and my sister, how can we how can we apply this to our life today? We can apply this scripture to our life by obeying God's commandment and fearing the Lord. Not like I said, not like fearing God, like, oh, I don't want to be around God. No, fearing the God, fearing God by um obeying God and realizing that he that he's holy, he's righteous, he's a unshakable God, that he's a consuming fire, and you just like are so in love with him that you know, you can't do anything without him. That's how we can apply this scripture to our life today. And being also being, um, and also living a life that is going to reflect God. Living a life that is going to bring glory and honor to God. Being kingdom minded and pursuing the heart of God. That's how we can apply this scripture to our life. So Lord Jesus, I just thank you for my brothers and my sister across the screen today. Lord, I pray Lord that you help us to, um, um, to seek you in all that we do, God. I pray that you help us to surrender all of our will into your hands, God. Uh, we just give our life to you, Lord. Like you orchestrate our life, God. You lead us. You guide us. You direct us, Lord. You put us where you want us to be, God. Speak to us daily, God. I just pray, Lord, that we are um, in awe of you, God. Yes, God, we just surrender to you today. Have your will in our life and let your will be done in our life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you. God love you. Bye, friend.